Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Fall 2024 Virtual Fabric Show. Thank you so much for tuning in this afternoon. My name is Stephanie Sheridan, and I will be your host today. A few things before we get st started with the designer presentations. Um, first, the collections that you see today are from our summer and fall 2024 release. Many of these collections won't be in stores until later this year or sometime next year. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're watching. If you have any questions during the designer presentations, please feel free to use the Q&A box. You'll see it right about there on my screen. Um, please use that for any questions and feel free to use the chat and the react buttons to say hello or to um, just tell us what you're thinking about the collections. Um, the React is new, so it's been fun to see little hearts and little tadas pop up as people are talking. Oh, there's hearts now. Oh, there's a little ghost. So much fun. Um, a reminder to visit our website, bennertex.com, to see all of these collections and more. You can also find uh, links to our designers' websites and many other things on our website as well. And when you fall in love with a collection, which I'm positive you will fall in love with at least one, if not all of these fabric collections we show you today. Be sure to ask for them in your local fabric shop. Um, you, they can order them through their sales rep. They can order them online on our website or through their favorite distributor. So with all of that being said, it is time to start the show. So fabrics designed by Modern Quilt Studio are always unique and inspiring and so amazingly versatile. Uh, Modern Quilt Studio are here today with us and they have several collections to talk to you about. Please join me as Bill and Weeks say hello and then explain all of these amazing fabrics that they have today. Thanks, Stephanie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey. So we have two collections to share today. And um, uh, Better Text has got a little um, video that we sent in to, um, to talk about one of them, and then we'll show you the other detail, the uh, details from the other one after that. So we'll start out with this video of our new transparency watercolors line. In November of 2023, Benartex released our line called Transparency. It was a line of rich spectrum of colors in two values, a medium range and a darker range. And with these, you can make a great variety of really dramatic value-based transparency. For instance, our jewel box quilt gave the illusion of a luminous center. Our frame of mind kit and quilt had kind of an ombre with transparencies of overlaid squares. Last year, we launched our secret agent modern mystery quilt along, and we had over 1,700 people all over the world creating versions of this unique transparency quilt. We're excited to launch our transparency watercolors line, which is also made up of 24 colors in two different values. This airier, clear and vibrant palette will be wonderful for creating hue-based transparencies as well as value-based transparencies. You'll see that although these colors are lighter and airier than the original transparency line, they're still very bold and crisp. The hue-based transparencies are ones such as this, where you have a blue and a yellow can create the illusion of an overlap to make green, or this red, pink, and this blue give a beautiful purple. And by introducing these also lovely neutrals, kind of brown, warm neutrals, you can have overlaps of complementary colors, such as the greens and the purples, but you can also have more subtleties, such as how yellow and orange can create a new orange, or the blues and greens can create a nice teal. 
and you get the oranges and the pinks creating a kind of lovely melon color. The thing that we are really excited about with both transparency and transparency watercolors is that although some people might think that this is a tone on tone line, in actuality, the prints are themselves very interesting and they can be used in a variety of other projects as well. This quilt called Taffy will be our free to use pattern, which will be available later on the Benertex site. Our color wash quilt is a very easy, beginner friendly way to think about transparencies and to make your first transparency quilt. It will be available as kits on our site. We'll also have an event that we will be uh, announcing in early 2025 that uses the entire line and it will be our next mystery quilt along. The transparency line is still available from Benertex. The transparency watercolors are being introduced. And if you look at them together, if you have both collections, you can do some really beautiful and dramatic and original transparency work. In November. Okay, so um, we're going to have another little video for the second line, but um, Wait, can we we're quick quickly add a couple things yeah. with the transparency watercolors? Because we're really excited to get to use these, and we'll be having that that event that will be announced yes. soon. I do want to have a quick shout out to those of you who may be watching who participated in the quilt along with transparency because the secret agent the one. secret agent quilt along was so much fun and now we're getting to see everyone posting their quilts that have won ribbons yes. all over A the country which wasn't on our radar yeah. when we did this but people have been very happy with their results so the transparency watercolors line was affected by the the dock workers strike so we had hoped to have it um, on our website by november 1st but it looks like it's going to take a little bit longer than that but we're getting it yeah we're going to have um we will have a um, an event using transparency watercolors in early 2025 but we'll have one little mini uh, quilt along before then that we'll be announcing in November um, uh, in January. So just everything shifted a little bit with that. Um, so stay tuned to the Modern right. Quilt Studio site and our yes. socials for updates on that. So then I think they're going to show you a little video about our 2025 LTD line. Okay, so the LTD line is um, kind of a new concept for us. And the best way to explain it, do you want to talk okay. about this? So it's called 2025 LTD because it will come out in 2025. And it's and limited. It's yeah. limited. And the idea is each year we're going to have a limited series of very versatile fabrics. So many fabrics that you see are going to be tone on tones, like this blue, which on screen probably looks almost no, like these, a solid. These are not fabrics from our line. No. This is just the concept. This is the concept. So this would be a typical tone on tone. There are many fabrics that you see on the market that are either focus fabrics or big prints. And I want you to take a look that with a lot of tone on tones, it reads as a solid 
shape. With a lot of larger scale prints, the print can be really beautiful on its own, but when cut into a shape like a triangle, it can cause some kind of confusion because the shapes of the print don't, they can kind of be bullies and take over and you might see shapes within the print rather than the piecing. And the idea between behind 2025 LTD is that we're going to have fabrics that from a distance might read tone on tone, but when you get up close, there's going to be enough visual interest that you kind of enjoy the detail. So they're, they have a little more versatility and up close friendliness than many of the tone on tones, because we, we design quilts to be used. We're really functional people. And we're aware that people like to curl up and you're looking at fabric really close up. And there are also t techniques where, for example, with English paper piecing, where you really need the crispness of the crispness of that edge that you need to be able to see. So, but you also want to have a fun print. So this is an example. This is our bookshelf print, which we think is going to be a, a popular among uh, readers, for example. And this print can also be a stripe, but from a distance, it, it kind of looks like a tone on tone. Yeah, like here you see the, the big you see the big rectangle. Right. When it's cut into a rectangle, you don't get any odd what we call mouse nibbles. Yeah. <laughs> that it, it you get a very clean edge. So whether you're piecing, appliqueing, or paper piecing, it's quite versatile. So what we want to do with this line is every year have a palette um, of 21 very um plays well with others, as we like mm -hmm. to say, prints in a very uh, controlled spectrum that we're gonna use that year, as well as one large scale print. And the, the uh, thinking behind this is there are some things that you wanna do with a screen print, which is have richness in detail and color that you don't get as much with digital print. But then you all, we also wanna have the versatility of a, of a digital print is part of the line. So we'll have 21 screen prints and then one larger scale multicolored um, digital print that takes advantage of digital printing technology. It has a larger repeat. And for 2025, we're basing it on... <laughs> well, we had a lot of popularity with our shipping bags. And we developed this for our 25th anniversary this year. And people loved this uh, this packaging so much they've asked for it over and over they wanted it as fabric so yeah. we are going to be releasing that as yes. a kind of an accessory to the 25 2025 LTD line so each of the LTD years will have the 21 prints and we want to make sure that you're not confusing it with the blender print because these each of them on their own are interesting Just, enough to carry a quilt but it's the ensemble idea as opposed to the focus fabric. And that ensemble will build year after year. So, so we've got you know a lot going on. The transparency watercolor is coming out in just a couple months. The 2025 LTD is a little further away. So it's something to look forward to. That should be um, in May, May with luck. <laughs> and we'll have an event to go with that as well. So yeah. there's a lo long time, a long way away but right. um, because of the way that marketing is handled, we need to share that with you early. Yeah. So look for that. Um, look for watercolors at the end of this year um, and early yeah. 2025 and um, May or so. And both we and Benertex will be sharing a lot of updates on all of this on our channels. So thank you, Stephanie. Thanks. And Bill and Weeks, um, are you guys still doing your quilts first? Oh yeah, every month on the first of every month we do a live stream where we announce what events are happening, what new um, fabrics are coming and, but we also have a newsletter, but yeah. The quilts first also is always, there are educational aspects of it, yeah. lots of good discussions. So thanks yeah. for that. I love watching quilts first. I make, I, I usually have it running in the background while I'm working on other things, but I, I we'll tune have, in. Wait, we'll have a lot to share in November. Yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
wink, wink, like your cute little winky icon yeah. that you had in your presentation. Awesome. Yes. It's a, wink, wink. Yes. You all know how wink. hard it is when you know the exciting things coming up that you can't share yet. Yeah. That's where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So everyone, make sure you tune in to Quilts First with Modern Quilt Studio on November 1st, I'm assuming. Yes. Um, on, on, our their, on their Facebook page. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So next up, we have designer Pat Sloan here to share her latest collection called Tiny Secrets. <laughs> Pat is a designer, an author, a and a lecturer with a deep passion for making quilts, quilting fun for herself and for everyone around her. And if, if you've ever watched any of Pat's videos, you'll know that, quilt, that quilts are her passion and that she is truly a fun and joyful person. <laughs> so Pat, I'd like to introduce you. You can introduce yourself a little bit and then we have a video from you with Tiny Secrets. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi everybody. Um, my video keeps going in and out, so sorry about that. I don't know, I get closer and then I get further away, but I think you can see me okay. <laughs> That's like, uh, yeah, I am so excited to be here. I d Before we go to Tiny Secrets, this is Gratitude and Grace behind me. We're gonna go this way. So I've got uh, one of the quilts from Gratitude and Grace, and this is the one we're gonna do a quilt along, waiting for um, just a little bit of fabric to get cut up finally and get that one finished and uh, ready to ready to sew. Uh, if you are out on the internet, which I assume everybody here is, uh, you can find my videos on YouTube. So that's where I do all of that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at uh, Tiny Secrets, which will be out in the spring. So you got, it's a little ways yet. <laughs> I have always loved when you look at a piece of fabric and you know you you think oh you love that fabric but when you go in a little bit closer you find a little image a little secret a little shape that's fun maybe you find a mushroom <laughs> so I thought it would be super cool to have a fabric line with those little treasures in the in there and I called them tiny secrets because I think when you look at it from a distance you're not going to notice that but when you go in close you're going to see it so let's take a look at the pieces in tiny secrets and I will show you I will tell you the secrets because that's the fun right that's all the fun of it is being able to see all the things that are there so on the, the main print, which is called Woodland Magic, because I thought, you know, with all the critters, we've got a fox, mushrooms, a bird, the owl. Uh, it is just, you know, that's the magic, those little magical figures. And they're kind of turned in different ways. So they're not, it's not a directional print. They're not like all facing up the same way. So let me just uh, show you the, there's, there's kind of looking from the opposite direction with the blue yellow colorway. And you can see here the beautiful owl. Uh, isn't that cool? And there's little stars in there, like a star here. Um, it's just so fun to have those kind of tiny, tiny, those tiny little secrets, right? So all the fabrics that go with it are magical. They're just magical. This is the hidden garden because you know, you can't have the woodlands without a hidden garden. Everybody needs one. And this also has stars in it when you look closely. I've got it in the blue with some pink. And then here's red with yellow and oh, just little pops of almost like a yellow green in here. So see that. And then an aqua, a beautiful, beautiful aqua. And it has yellow and blue in it as well. Okay, here are my mushrooms. Here are my mushrooms. And on the edge, okay, this is this is the manufacturer's. You know, you don't have the big things like that. Yours will be the tiny little. Yours are actually going to look like mushrooms. One of these has it. Let me, uh, let me, let's, let's look at this. Wait, wait, I'll look at the other one. So. <laughs> Here's the pink, pink and reds for the uh, for the mouse house. That's what this is. I didn't even tell you what it was called yet. That this is the mouse house because you know they have to live somewhere. All the little critters have to live somewhere. And then on um, blue with the yellow. Gosh, love it so much. And here is a kind of a pale yellow with pinks and reds. Now on the edge. 
I have to read it. Take your time along the path. You don't want to miss the delightful secrets I hold for you. So that is all what is on the salvage. And then it ends with this cute little mushroom drawing right there. Cute little mushroom drawing. And then you have uh, the color dots will be mushrooms, not these big squares. This is just the early, early cuts. Okay, here's the open meadow. We had the smaller scale floral, right? Here's the smaller scale floral. And now we have the open floral, which has the green. This one's the kind of light, light, limey green. Very, very pretty. And then on with white background with pinks, reds, and yellows. And it's got stars and dots. You to have stars and dots. This one is a white on white of that same print, which of course is very hard to show on video. But this is the white on white. And it has that same open, there you go. I think you can see it now. So this is the open meadow, which is that same sort of, it now looks kind of etched on the white on white. When you have a secret garden or any kind of garden, I think that fairy lights just make it all even more magical. So this is my fairy lights print in pink and green. Got to have this gorgeous green. We'll have um, beautiful summer blue, <laughs> that medium blue that I love so much. And then starry nights. But there's, wait, there's one more after starry nights, but our starry nights are in blue with the pops of yellow stars the navy and we've got sort of white and pink stars there the red with again pink a little pink and a little a little pale yellow and then lastly we have a gorgeous gingham to go with everything it's called the secret path you know because gingham's like little pathways for our woodland creatures in green and yellow and blue and red there we go there we go oh my goodness i am very excited to be able to work with these fabrics when they come out when they come to your favorite store uh, so let's take a look i had my friends uh, put take my fabrics and do the renditions in their patterns so let's look at how it sews up or how it will sew up my Tiny Secrets has 21 pieces, so let's see what kind of magic my friends have done with those 21 pieces. <laughs> First up is Lisa Rubel of Quilty Zest, and she has developed the free pattern Benertex has for my fabric line. Oh my gosh, Lisa did an amazing job. Tulip quilts are the best. If you've not made one yet, then here you go. This one is it. I just love how she combined all the fabrics. My best buddy, Wendy Shepard, she's designed several patterns for me. And this one is called Parfait Goodness. And it uses those two and a half inch strips just to the extraordinary. <laughs> they got a nice big quilt at 60 by 60. Plus it's very doable size. I love that part. You know, they're not too big. You can do them yourself. You can get them quilted. So good. And she also did a chance of rain. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine going through the meadow, this little secret garden with your rain boots? How cute are those? Just, you know, I have to do at least one rain boat, a brain, rain boot, <laughs> a rain. Yeah, it, it just, just so cute. Hat days, hat days, mushrooms everywhere. Now you knew I was gonna have to have a mushroom quilt. If you've been following me, you know I just love mushrooms. And this one, I love Wendy's names too, Hat Days. <laughs> it's got big ones and little ones. This is going to be a quilt along, like I said, because, you know, it is too fun, too fun. The next group of quilts are from It's So Emma. This first one is called Tea Cakes. And the neat part is that the centers showcase your fabric. It's a nice big center in that block. And so the prints can just shine. And at 45 by 45, it's super for a baby quilt. Uh, just adorable. 
Now, I love their pattern glow. We have, I have actually made this with one of my prior Better Text lines. Uh, the pattern is such a great value. It comes with the crib, the lap, the twin, and the queen. And, um, and no matter what fabric you use, it always looks absolutely spectacular. So I love seeing it here with Tiny Secrets. They also have Woodland, and that just seems like a perfect name for Tiny Secrets, since some of those are Woodland creatures. And this is a star. You know we quilters love our star blocks, and the border on it is fabulous. Just, just so cool to have that kind of paper cut effect. I love it. And the last one from It's So Emma is the Constellation, 60 by 60, and we're going to do this one as a quilt along. Oh my gosh, it is so cool. I just really, really love that. And you could pick the fabrics. You could do the red version. You could do one with maybe a little bit more yellow in it. You could just pick however you wanted to go with it. This is an awesome strip quilt called Paint Box. It's designed by Carl and Linda Sullivan of Colorworks. I've known them for a, a very long time. It's just so cool. The effect is amazing. And that one is 48 by 48, so such a great size. Carolina Blooms, you have the AccuQuilt machine. Amanda Howard designed this using AccuQuilt dies. And oh, look at that, that is such a neat quilt. I really love it with the blue background. And this one is 55 by 55. My friend Annie, who is the designer of By Annie Patterns, she always has amazing projects. And we are showcasing here her Bowl Me Over bag on the top right, which is such a cool bag. I'm really going to have to make that one. The project bags, which I adore these for storing your projects as you're working on them. They have the clear front. She also carries all of the supplies for that. And then this little handle it to go you know, put your keys, your phone, your little, you know, things that you might need right away on the way out the door and stick it on the door handle. Might be fun for teenagers too, to put on their doors. <laughs> Maybe it says keep out. I don't know. <laughs> My brothers would have said that. Um, <laughs> so there's a look at Tiny Secrets. If you have a favorite quilt shop, please ask them to order it for you. Uh, then come and visit me at YouTube and Facebook where I would love to chat. I have always loved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till this comes in. It is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to so do a quilt along with those mushrooms because if you have been following me for any length of time, I go through phases of liking different images. And right now it's mushrooms. Uh, I just did my house tour on my video at YouTube today to show you all my Halloween things, but the mushroom tree is still there, uh, all lit up because and it has a ghost on it today. So I hope you go out and check that out and come and visit. Uh, so, it, and if you have questions, put those in the Q and A because we're gonna have a point here where we can, we can answer them later. So thanks a lot, Stephanie, back to you. Thanks, Pat. And I noticed, of course, your signature red made its appearance again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a red. <laughs> I don't think a Pat Sloan collection we, would be complete without at least a little bit of red in there. <laughs> All right. So moving on. So quilts and cats just seem to go together, and the new Cozy Cats collection by designer Cherry Guidry is simply adorable. The fresh and soft color palette blends perfectly with Cherry's other new collection that she's going to show you today called Chalk Ombre. First, we'll take a quick look at the fabrics through a video and then Cherry can tell us all about them.
All right, Cherry, can you tell us about these new collections? Sure. Um, so I do have a little PowerPoint presentation to share with you guys. So if I can go ahead and share that. Okay, can you guys see that? Is it working, Stephanie? Yep, I can see it. Can everybody else see it? Uh, got it. It just took a second. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, Perfect. guys. Well, first of all, thank you all for uh, joining us today. It's so good to be here and to share my new collection, Cozy Cats. It's um, a, just a soft palette and um, really versatile. It can go from baby to even tweeners. And I think, uh, well, my goal was to actually have some of these little prints sewn into uh, little shirts, I thought. I would be able to wear one today. Um, you know, great plans. Um, but it is a collection all about kitty cats. And we just have real simple little silhouettes with a little bit of um, sketching in them and have it in a couple of colorways so that you can go either boy, girl, or in between. So um, here is the larger um, print in the collection. And as you saw earlier, we have the cats, we have the white little background and also soft pink. Um, I'm a huge fan of pink too. Um, and you guys, do you notice something here? There was no aqua in this collection. Are you shocked? <laughs> For those of you that know me, you know I always have that in my collections. Um, but anyway, we do have this fun stripe that is ideal for uh, borders, especially if you like to miter those borders. Um, but great print for binding and so many other things. Cute uh, for bottom of a little dress of a little girl, little pillows. Um, oops, um, we do have another little print with little cat heads uh, that are immersed in little flowers and a fun uh, little um, grid. Uh, that is just so versatile. And, um, and then um, we have uh, little flowers and a little bit smaller scale and absolutely adorable polka dots as a background. And I just love polka dots. I mean, I, you know, I'd like to have one of those in every collection. Um, of course, it is cats. So we have to have some little fish. And if you look a little bit closer in there, we have a few little uh, fish that the little cats got a hold of. So um, fun colors. This uh, three little prints here are really cute. They almost have a batik a feel to them when you're holding them in person. And um, which I did get a little bit of sample fabric to make um, some quilts for market. Um, so very sweet and very cute. And also this, uh, some of these prints have the chalk textures um, for their backgrounds. So just, um, of course, they're going to coordinate with uh, chalk textures. We have introduced two new colors to the chalk texture collection. And it's these two jade prints that you see on the right side. And I pulled up a couple of other colors that coordinate with this collection, but there's even more of the pinks and um, purples that go really well with the cozy um, cats. So let me show you some of the patterns that I've designed for this collection. So I have to say that this is absolutely my favorite one. Um, and it is just pieced. Um, I would say just about anybody can make this little quilt. It's just simple piecing. Um, some of the pieces are a little bit smaller, as you can see, um, but um, really fun and easy to do. Um, so this one is called Whiskers. And um, hang on just a sec. Um, and it measures um, 70 by 79. So it's a nice size um, squarish quilt. And that would be great on a kid's bed or a teenager. Um, excuse me. Now, in some of the chat, I did see that some of the uh, uh, viewers were asking if I had any machine embroidery quilts. And yes, I do. This is one. It's called Hugs and Kisses. And it's a nice baby quilt. And all of these designs will fit in your embroidery machine hoop, a size um, 6 by 10. If you have a Bernina, that's like a 6 by 10, uh, the large oval hoop. Um, so everything can be done in the hoop. And of course, if you don't have an embroidery machine, you can still do this um, manually. You can applicate manually. Um, so we have the little girl version, and we also have a little boy version. So this is Cozy Baby, and it's just a sweet little zoo of creatures. And um, again, super easy, fun to do. Um, and if you haven't done my machine embroidery designs before, I give you two files, uh, two formats. You can do one that's stitched out as a blanket stitch. So if you want to uh, have a really soft looking quilt, or you can just do the traditional satin stitch finished edge. And again, I do include all the SVG so you can pre-cut all your little shapes in a GF8. Okay, so I do have a third in the hoop uh, design and this is a bench pillow. 
And um, yep, again, these designs will all fit a six by 10 embroidery hoop. And um, so, so fun and sweet to do. And um, and then I don't know if you can see, but there's some little buttons just to accent this little project. So it just fits a, a typical um, 18 by 38, is it 36? Oh, wait, I have right here, <laughs> 17 by 39 a pillow, a bench pillow. Okay, so then um, I do have a few more machine embroidery. Okay, I just went crazy with machine embroidery designs this time. So this is part of one pattern. The pattern is called Petal Bazaar, and it gives you all of the following designs. You get um, designs to create this one runner, and, and I'm going to give it to you in, in four color ways and four design ways. So um, if you decide to go like with this colorway, of course, you can change the colors as you please, but you see that the flowers are orange here. And so you can also make this runner and maybe a little mint color. So it uh, featuring the pink flowers here. Um, the middle one is the aqua with the purple flowers. And then I have the white colorway. So following along, part of this pattern is also this little organizer. So if you can see at the top, there's some little tabs so that you can um, either put this like on a little rod or you could uh, use little buttons and Velcro and put this over a stroller or um, maybe a walker. And then the little orange print, that's just little pockets that you could subdivide. Here I have it as three, but you could put as many pockets in there or as little as few as you want to. And so here again, it is in that um, deep um, blue uh, fabric for the background, the orange, orange flower. And here it is with the other designs that you can do in the different colorways. So you could just choose to do, you know, all the aquas and just, you know, create a whole collection of things that coordinate. So this is design number two, and this pattern here is design number three. You just like those flowers, want to turn them into a little vase, you can make yourself a little wall hanging, and that's a 28 by 13. And this is done in four different sections, so you don't have to worry about really multi-hooping this and making things line up. I just wanted to keep it real easy so that you could stitch out one of the vases and then just, you know, do, do all four separately, sew them open your seams and then quilt away and it would look great. And then, I don't know if you've noticed, but all of it has rounded corners. I love rounded corners. So I did this a long time ago and it was just so much fun. Um, so if you have these four little bosses, you can create something else. You can do some little minis and it's the same identical designs. I just decided it would be cute to do this way. It's great for little wall hangings. Or if you wanna make something for your friends, for, um, for gifts, you can do this, or mug rugs. So I love tiny projects. Um, and then um, that's it for that pattern. So I think that's enough. That'll keep you pretty busy. So everything in here is done in your embroidery machine. Now I do have, and we, got, we saw these earlier, we have the little complementary patterns. This is whiskers and paws. And I have it done in the uh, jade colorway, but also in the pink. And what's great about this pattern is that it's a great way to feature some of those prints that we don't necessarily want to cut up. Or, you know, because sometimes like uh, Bill and Weeks were saying earlier, sometimes you can't see your print, right? You chop it up and it's like, oh, where did it go? So um, this is, of course, I'm recycling this pattern. I've done this one before, but I really like it because these um, squares are rather large. So you can throw um, anything in there. And actually, you can download not this particular colorway, but you can get these patterns on my website right now. It's a free download. Um, and then I do have a second uh, um complementary pattern with this collection. And um, again, you can fussy cut any of the prints in the design. And this one, I just chose to use a little kitty print because I really like it. Um, and use some of the larger uh, florals in there and um, turn it into this uh, fun, uh, rather large quilt, but you can make it smaller. And I did use the um, stripe in this for the borders. And no, I did not miter it but you could, I think it would be great mitered. Um, so here it is in the pinks and purples. And I think that's all for that collection. Now I'm so excited about the chalk ombre. And it, if you're familiar with chalk texture, we have 63 colors plus the two we just added. Um, and we now have ombres. And so these are fabulous. And, and so these colors go from edge to edge. So you'll start with like the pink on one edge of the fabric to end the width all the way to the end is going to be that purple. And then you have the in between. And so let's say you want to make a quilt that's multicolor like this one here. This is ombre petals. Um, it's a nice size of twin quilt. And um, yeah, if you wanted to create that quilt and add all the colors and chalk textures, I'm sure your quilt shop wouldn't mind you buying all of those, but 
you know what? All you need is these four ombre prints. And the pattern will show you exactly how to cut it so that you can get all those little um, orange peels in there and get the best use out of that whole um, strip of fabric. And um, if I'm not mistaken, it's just like a seven, eight, eight about a yard uh, per colorway. And then you just, of course, you can do the um, whatever background color you want to do. I decided to go with the white for this one. Um, so it is applique. It's not... Um, round, uh, what is it, circle piecing or curve piecing. Um, I don't even know exactly the term because I never do those. I just, they always end up looking really wobbly. So <laughs> mostly an applicator, you know, a machine applicator at best. Um, I do have a second uh, pattern with the ombre and this is a diamonds pattern and ECPC, super easy piecing, um, strip piecing here. And then um, we um, just put it on point and just add a little bit of fun here. Um, so this one, I just decided to color it in a couple of colorways so you could see the variation. So here it is in the navy. Of course, it is a chalk texture. Oh, and you know what? Let me go back to that petals because can you see the binding here? Um, so what I did is instead of adding another print for binding, I decided to just sew end to end um the ombres and at the binding for this and I did the same thing here so it just adds a little bit of sparkle to that finish because you know it's like the last chance you have to add a little fun to your quilt right it's when you put your binding on um so here it is in the this is the mm -hmm. charcoal um gray uh dark gray in the collection of chalk textures and here it is in white too which is just a lot of fun I you know if you follow me you know that I absolutely love white for everything as a background so um, that's those colors. Stephanie, do I have a minute or two? Oh, wait, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this, Stephanie designed this beautiful quilt. And I'm sorry, Stephanie, I didn't get the best image on this. So, um, but this is a really fun quilt that Stephanie designed. This is a complimentary quilt um, pattern for a uh, chalk ombres. And um, if you guys look at it, um, she just took the, the fabric and its strips and then she inverted that four patch. So I thought it was so clever and fun. And this is definitely one I wanna make. And it's just a great size, great little throw. Maybe bind it with some nice wool batting. It'd be great throw for my chair for slow stitching. So um, do I have time to show what's current in stores right now? Yes. Yes, okay. please do. So, um, so you guys um, in stores right now, it's just been there for about, I guess, two months now. It's a color at Sunshine and it coordinates beautifully with the Cozy Cats. So if you're a store that hasn't bought this yet and you're thinking about doing Cozy Cats, you can, you know, get some of these prints because if you look at this, um, that little daisy print and that green and that um, uh, fuchsia color, it's the same print that we have in Cozy Cats and as well as the little cat print. So they all work really well. Um, as a matter of fact, some of the patterns that I showed you earlier, the ones with the runners and that whole thing, I actually combined both of these prints for that, I mean, print uh, collections. So um just to make it all work. So here it is. Um, this is Color It Sunshine, and it is uh, full of sunshine. It's a very happy collection. Um, here are some of the patterns. If you haven't seen these, this one again, you guys, it is in the hoop applique, and it's a nice size quilt, but super easy. Um, and then um, I have this one sitting here in my studio behind me, and this is called La Bella La, which is um, dragonfly in Italian, uh, Spanish. And <laughs> Think Spanish or Italian. Okay. Uh, Maria can correct me on that. Um, so again, applique, because I do love applique and um, real sweet, uh, fun quilt. And I just, I love this print for the outer border. It was just, it's one of my favorites in this collection. And um, I, we do have a complimentary pattern for this group and you can find this on my website right now. And um, a few other quilts. And I have to apologize because I don't remember I didn't write down all the designers for this, but I think we have all this information in the lookbook as well as on um, the Banner Text website. So I'm sorry, you guys, I just have a terrible memory. Um, so anyway, we have this beautiful design here and kitty cats again. This is just so precious. Um, and uh, this one is absolutely gorgeous. I just love um, everything that's happening in this quilt. So, uh, and more cats. So, and that's it for me. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cherry. Oh, you, you packed a lot in. That was fantastic. <laughs> Great. Thank you, guys. All right. So right now we're going to take a short break and we're going to pop a poll up on your screen. Um, for those of you that are here with us, 
in our Zoom, you can go ahead and vote in this poll. Give us your answer to this one simple question, and that will give you a chance to win not just one uh, fabric prize, which we've done in the past, but we're actually doing four fabric prizes today, one from each of the designers that you see featured. So someone will win something from Modern Quilt Studio, from Cherry Guidry, from Pat Sloan, and from Marin Sutton. So how exciting is that? So if you go ahead and just vote, um, unfortunately, those of you that are watching us live on Facebook, you're not able to vote, um, but the participants that are here live in our Zoom, please go ahead and vote. And we will move on to our next presenter in just a minute. All right. So we will announce the winners at the end of our session today. So moving on, one of our newest fabric designers is named Marin Sutton, and she is here to share her very first collection with us today. So I hope you all make her feel welcome. Marin comes from a long line of quilters, but I'll let her tell you about that. Her spellbound line weaves magic and nature together with whimsical artwork and modern cues. Please enjoy this short video clip of the fabric collections, and then Marin can tell us a little more. Hi, Marin. Welcome. Would you like to introduce yourself while we get your, your uh, slideshow ready? I would. Thank you. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I loved that video. That was really fun. <laughs> All the pumpkin transitions and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm Marin Sutton. Um, this is my first line with Benner Tex. I'm really excited about it. Um, a little bit about my background. Um, if we pull up my slides, I have some pictures, some fun family photos and stuff. Um, for those of you who don't know, my mom is Nancy Halverson. So <laughs> a little bit of nepotism never hurt, right? <laughs> uh, that's how I got my foot in the door with this. So um, growing up, I've always been very creative. It just is in my blood. So you can probably guess, um, here's this lovely lady next to me. That's my mom. So um, all growing up, I always remember her telling me, you have to come see what I designed. You have to tell me which one you like better. You know, I was always kind of her consultant on her designs and stuff. So I feel like I definitely have a leg up in the design world. I just grew up in it. So um, it was really fun. And uh, my education, I have an art degree. I have a bachelor's degree in art. So that's just always been my passion. I was really grateful to my mom, who's very supportive of that, because I know that, you know, it, she didn't have the support from her parents. They're like, you can't make money as an artist. So, <laughs> but my mom was like, oh, yes, you can, right? <laughs> um, I designed a couple of fabric lines when I got out of college, and I just have like little thumbnails of those. Um, and then once I had my babies, 
which are down here at the bottom. You can see my family, my cute redhead husband and my two kiddos. I have a son and a daughter. And, you know, even though my son's hair is super long, that is a boy. <laughs> um, he, he loves having long hair. I don't know why. Um, I took a little bit of a hiatus from designing, you know, to when you have those littles, it's very demanding on your time. So I'm excited now that they're a little bit older that I can uh, have more time to work and be outside the home. And I also have a picture, uh, while my kids were growing up, I had a little Etsy shop that kind of just gave me a creative outlet and kept me sane. And that's a little earring, this little caramel apple from my Etsy shop. So yeah, go to the next slide here. So this is, I'm talking about my inspiration for this line. Um, I have to start by saying that I am just a child at heart, even though I am a middle-aged woman. <laughs> I still love dressing up every Halloween. And this is me and my daughter. I was a witch last year, which was when I designed this line. So I just had all kinds of spooky elements, you know, swirling around in my head and thinking about, I, I can't do anything the normal traditional way. I couldn't just be a black witch with striped tights. I had to do it with pinks and, you know, my own sort of character design. So um, when I had, I really wanted to be kind of a woodland witch. So I had all these things spinning around in my head and I was like, I should turn this into a fabric line. And um, after talking to my mom and getting her blessing and her reassurance that Benertex would uh, take me under their wing, <laughs> I submitted these designs and they really loved them, thank goodness. So um, go on to the next slide here. So my fabric line's called Spellbound. And I'll talk a little more about this print that's in the background later. Um, this is my main print. It's called Bubble Brew. Um, I just love every little element in here that you can kind of get an idea of what my Halloween decor looks like <laughs> from looking at this print. I have little apothecary jars and, you know, fake poison. And I too love mushrooms. So... <laughs> I have some mushrooms mixed in there too. Um, I had a lot of fun with this line. In the past, my lines have been very flat and sort of pieced looking, but I really went crazy with the texture on this. I love the sort of um, pencil outline that everything has. It's very textured. And um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and blame 101 Dalmatians for that. <laughs> if you watch that movie, I'm a Disney fan, you can't tell. I was wearing ears in both of those pictures. <laughs> so, um, if you watch 101 Dalmatians, all of the backgrounds are just gorgeous. They're all kind of watercolored and you can still see the pencil outlines of all the artists. So I love that. Um, I have a lot of uh, pencil in the slides. Keep an eye out for it. Um, next one. So this print is called Mystic and I, I have always loved um, sort of mid-century modern vibes. And so I've been kind of obsessed lately with these little like four-pointed stars. Just about every little thing I sketch, I'll put little like sparkly stars around it. And I loved um, adding in just kind of smoke. So it kind of looks like a witch just disappeared into a puff of smoke or something. There's just a little residual bit of magic on there. So um, yeah, I really love that one. And it's a great basic, you know, I. Can't wait to cut out little skulls out of that white cloudy fabric and just have fun with it. Okay, next. So this one, this one's a lot of fun. Um, I also have an obsession with sort of folksy designs right now, Scandinavian prints, you know, floral. This, I feel like if this wasn't a Halloween line, there would be little tulips on those, but um, I saw these pictures, I don't remember where I came across it, but I came across um, pictures of dried up snapdragons. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those, but when the flowers dry up, they actually look just like little skulls on these plants. So I just thought that was so funny and I thought it was adorable. So I put little skulls on there <laughs> and I really love how it turned out. I think it's lots of fun. And of course, in my true um, rebellious nature, I have pinks and pastels, even though it's a Halloween line. So I just can't do things the normal way. <laughs> Next. 
So this one's called Puss Patch. I also have cats. Well, I don't own cats, but I put cats in my, <laughs> my husband's allergic, unfortunately. Um, but I love all animals of any kind. As you'll see, we'll have more animals on these prints as we keep going. But um, I just, I had a lot of fun with the texture on this one and that sort of um, watercolor. And then if you look closely at the outlines of the pumpkins, you can see that pencil texture again. And that's also how I colored in the cats. They have a very um, kind of charcoal -y pencil feel to them, which I thought was fun. And I just love the idea of these little cats you know, running through the pumpkin field and peeking over the top and you can see their little bums and tails and stuff. So I just had lots of fun with that. I love animals. And oh, there's actually um, pumpkins. They're called Cinderella pumpkins that are, are that pink color. So I thought that was fun that there's actually pink pumpkins. So next. And this is my um, last print. This one's called Eye of Newt, and it's a little more of just those mystical things, lots of animals. Um, I guess I got a little more into like the mystic psychic kind of side with the crystal balls and like the all seeing eye. And um, yeah, just had lots of fun with it with those pencil textures. And yeah, there you have, it. I can't wait to see this in person and to hold the fabric in my hands and sew things out of it. I'm just really excited. I was muted, sorry about that. Just to let you know, I actually, I'm here in the office and there's fabric here and I got to see it. Oh. It is so fantastic and it has such a great hand. I can't wait until you get it in your hands and you can start creating with it. Oh, definitely. I'm going to have to make a witch hat and an apron. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you have so much fun. So I'm so excited for this line. Thank you so much for bringing a, a new look to Benner Text. We really appreciate <laughs> it. And it looks like um, in the chat, Lots of people are loving it. So be sure to uh, to visit your local quilt shop, let them know about this line and get them to order it so that you guys can use it for next Halloween. And Thank we're now, <laughs> we're now gonna move on to our last presenter in this session. Um, last but not least is Nancy Halverson, Marin's mom. And she has her new Autumn Breeze collection. Unfortunately, Nancy is not able to be with us today. She is actually on a wonderful vacation, a well-deserved vacation. She's been working very hard and is going to be out of the country for the next few weeks. But she did send us a video showing her new collection and a sneak peek of one of the projects from her new book that's coming out. Hey, it's great to be here with you today, if not in person, at least by video. I'm here today to talk to you about my brand new line with Benertex called Autumn Breeze. This line is fabulous. The colors are just beautiful, saturated, deep, gorgeous fall colors. I think that this might be my favorite fabric line for fall. Today, I'm gonna show you each of the SKUs for this line and then I'm gonna show you a peek at the quilt that I made to go with this fabric line. Okay, I'm gonna start with the plums and the purples. I love this main print, these dancing leaves and all the different colors in the print because it goes in combination with so many of the different skews in the line. It's beautiful. And then we've got some fun purples and plums, just love, love. Okay, next we've got greens. Again, the beautiful main print with the colors and you can see it, it also picks up the purples and plums from that range of skews. And we have this beautiful green plaid the vine print, the lighter 
leaf silhouette and the swirling winds. Next, we've got beautiful orange and gold. Again, you can see the orange goes with the purples, it goes with the greens, goes with the golds. That's what I love about this line is how all of the pieces just fit together so beautifully. Pumpkin color, the deep saturated plaids, these beautiful golds. Just such a joy to work with. Then we've got the red skews. And again, going with the oranges, the golds, the greens, the purples, everything just blends together so beautifully. We've got this fun salmon color, beautiful saturated colors, just perfect for fall. Then we've got this unexpected pop of blue, which I just love in the line. And again, this coordinates with all the different colors. Just beautiful. And then lastly, creams. Now don't laugh. And after I made that beautiful quilt that you see behind me, this was the only piece that I have left of the cream leaf colorway, but it also blends beautifully with all of the fabrics. And then these make beautiful backgrounds for the quilts. This, this whole line is just a pleasure to sew with. The, the colors coordinate all together so well. And in the book, I am, the book is done all in color and I give you a fabric skew for each block. And then I tell you exactly which pieces to cut out of the fabric so that it will make it very easy to know what fabrics go where and how to put it together. And now we'll show you the sneak peek of the quilt. Okay, so here is a peek at the main quilt from the book, and it's called Hello Autumn for obvious reasons. And what this book has is 10 different fall blocks, and then they are put together into four fun quilts. This is the largest quilt. This is an 80 by 90, and then there's three other quilts that are smaller in the book. And like I said, they, the book is all printed in color and it's easy to tell which fabrics go where. Here's the fun maple leaf block, aspen leaf blocks, oak blocks, oak leaf blocks, acorns, some berries, of course, the two adorable owls. Now this whole qu quilt is pieced except for the words and they are done with fusible applique. And you can just see how beautifully these fall fabrics blend together from one letter to the next. Then we have some fun crow blackbird blocks and a sunflower block. And it just makes this adorable fall quilt. I hope that you've enjoyed this look of the Autumn Breeze fabric line that's coming out and also a sneak peek of the Autumn Breeze book that's coming with it and one of the sampler quilts included in that book. You really need to see this line in person to see the fabulous, beautiful colors that are included in this line. I hope you love it as much as I do. See you later.
So I think it's safe to say that we all love this line as much as Nancy does. What do you guys think? Just from all the reactions. Um, so this line will be shipping um, next year and the book will be out next year. So it'll be perfect for your fall creations in 2025. All right, so that is all for our designer presentations. So now I'm gonna move into our Q&A session. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the questions that you guys have posted there for us. Um, a reminder, if you do have a question, please pop it into the Q&A box and I will ask the designers. Um, so let's see, we have a few that were answered. Um, so, um, I'm going to ask Modern Quilt Studio. I know you guys answered this in the chat, mm -hmm. but I want I wanted to read this out loud because it's a really interesting question and I want everybody to know the answer. Just to clarify, the transparency fabrics aren't really transparent, correct? Mm -hmm. The patterns lend themselves to this illusion. It's all about the illusion. So we worked really carefully with Benertex and the mills to get colors that were so nicely tuned that you might you might actually believe for a moment that they were transparent, but it is about just the adjacencies and the illusion of transparency. Fantastic. But the Thank fabrics you. themselves are standard quilting cottons. Yes. It's so amazing that you guys can create that out of standard quilting cotton and it truly looks like they're transparent and overlaid. It's just, it's just breathtaking. Um, okay. Oh, this question is for Pat. Um, Pat, will there be a wide back for Tiny Secrets? Not this time. Not this time, but I'm guessing all of your Tiny Secrets col colors go with your wide backs that are available on our website. And there are ones that will work for sure. Harmony is the basic one, uh, Harmony wide back. And so if you look at that, there are quite a few of those that match and work. Um, beautifully with Tiny Secrets. Great. Oh, and another question for you, Pat. Will the Constellation Quilt Along be kitted? There is a shop that is going to do the kit as you saw it in the blue. Um, so, yeah, there will be, and I'll have information on that as we get much closer. <laughs> so it's six months away, so, yeah, it's a uh, long yeah. time out. But, yeah, there, there is a shop that will have the kits as you see it. So Okay. And one last question for you. Do you have any upcoming sew alongs beginning soon so people yes. can start playing now? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I actually am doing one, this one behind me, uh, as soon as that little bit of fabric gets in. Uh, and then I have several others. I have a calendar that I put out every month that tells the projects that are ongoing, the days that I do videos and some other fun things. So if you go to my website um, and in a few days, the November calendar will be up there. Right now it is the October one, but the second page shows you what's coming up and the dates for it. So I have that that I've been publishing for years and it's all out on I Love to Make Quilts. It's right here at the top. It says calendar, so just go to the calendar page. Fantastic, thank you. Um, okay, uh, Cherry, someone tried to download the whiskers pattern. Um, do you want me to take this one? <laughs> so those patterns, um, are for the upcoming fabric line. So they will not be available, um, for a while yet, probably within the six to eight weeks before the fabric starts shipping, you'll be able to find those patterns on Cherry's website. But until then, um, Cherry has the patterns that the one that you can see behind you and several of her other patterns available on her website. Um, let's see. Oh, Hope um, says that she loves the Cinderella pumpkins. Um, let's see. Um, the autumn bride, uh, the autumn breeze line is so luscious. Will there be any more quilt patterns done with this? And are there any wide backs for this? Um, quilt patterns, there are actually four patterns in the autumn breeze book. 
They all use different facets of that first quilt, the largest quilt that you saw. Um, but there are four separate projects in that book. There are also some other um, patterns using the Autumn Breeze line. You can find those on our website, bennertex.com. Um, and then let's see, when is Modern Quilt Studios next sew along? <laughs> We'll be announcing that November 1st. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's coming up. But we, so, yes. we we found that it becomes problematic if we announce it too soon, because then there's a whole lot of, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> so. But I do want to put in a quick plug for the ongoing Hive quilt, mini quilt along. With Truly. With our Truly fabric, which is now in stores. And there are lots of people doing some beautiful variations of that that you can see on either our site or on our Facebook page. And for those who haven't done one of our sew alongs or quilt alongs, the mystery quilts, some of them are mystery quilt alongs and some of them are just quilt alongs. But um, in addition to the quilting, uh, the pattern, um, we also include uh, tutorial videos as part of it. Um, we do ridiculous things like we have a Spotify playlist for our quilt alongs. Um, we've we, stickers and color wheels and, and merch, and, just as fun shirts, and uh, so we have we have a whole lot of uh, fun with our quilt alongs. Um, so yeah, so, so tune in beginning yes, of November, November for, we'll have for what's more. next. Sounds great. Thank you. Um, Cherry, do you want to give everybody your website again? We've had a question about that. Uh, yes, it's cherryblossomsquilting.com. Two S's, Blossoms Studio. No, no, just Blossoms okay. Quilting. Blossoms Quilting, okay. Right, Tom. Yes. Um, and then let's see. All right, I think we've got most of the questions. I do have a couple of questions and I'm, I'm gonna ask Marin because she's the brand newbie here. So she's not heard these questions before. Um, so let me ask you this. Do you have a, a favorite snack in your studio? Oh goodness. Um, I usually have a giant jar of cashews. <laughs> I love cashews. It gets the protein to fill me up, you know. Gotcha. Um, and let's see, do I have any other questions in here? Um, oh, they also want to know if you're working on another line. Possibly. So I have ideas brewing around in here. I don't feel like um with this line that I you know, just showed you, I feel like it just poured out of me. Like it was, <laughs> I think I sketched those all out like in one sitting, but I had been ruminating on it for a long time and just thinking about what I wanted to do. So I felt like my mental prep work really helped it come out really fast. But I, I have ideas for one in the future, but I feel like it's not pouring out of me like the last one did. This one's demanding a little more work for my inspiration. So it might just take a little time to get there. I'll get there. <laughs> and do you have a website? I don't have a website. Um, I am on Instagram and Pinterest. That's my go-to. I'm always on Pinterest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just Marin Sutton or it might be Marin for you. Okay. Like number four letter U. I can't remember for sure. But, um, and I have my Etsy shop, which I talked about. That's where I was planning on um, selling the pattern that I have. It's not currently open, it's on vacation, but I've been meaning to revamp some things. And But my Etsy shop is called Bird and Possum. Okay. If you want to know, just like how you spell bird and then A-N-D, possum. Perfect. All right, thank you. Oh, this is an interesting question. What sewing machine do all of you use? We'll start with Pat. 
I have a, a baby lock. Uh, you can see it on my videos. I usually sit right in front of it. I also have a cherry red featherweight that I had painted last year or the very beginning of this year. So and you can see that one from the video too. So those are those are my two, the big girl machine and the little machine. All right, Cherry, how about you? Berninas. <laughs> I love my Berninas. <laughs> All right, um, Modern Quilt Studio. We have, was it like 15 year old? Oh, it's probably 20 years old by now. Yeah. <laughs> um, kind of low end uh, Bernina also. It's just so reliable. Very, very like, simple machine, not so, the fancy, not the fancy one, but. Whenever we teach, we look at everyone else's machines and we think, wow. <laughs> Right. And, and I also, we, we have a great old um, featherweight, one of those rare, the white ones that aren't quite white, they're Celadon. more Celadon. Yeah. And the Berninas and the featherweights, they just work forever. Yeah, they really do. All right. And Marin, how about you? I also sew on a Bernina. I started out with one that my mom handed down to me, so they're great. I also started out on a Bernina that my mom handed down to me. So aren't we lucky? I And I always say there's so many great machines out there. And uh, it helps to know who's a good mechanic in your area. And you hope you never need them. But it's a combination of having a great machine and someone either you know personally or you can fix yourself if there is a problem. That's a great point, Bill. Thank you. Um, okay, Cherry, will you be offering any kits with the ombre fabrics? Uh, not me personally, but hopefully some of the shops will. <laughs> I'm sure they will, because those ombre quilts are just amazing. Thank you. Um, all right. Um, oh, what is the name of the skull fabric that looks like Snapdragons? I don't remember the name of that skew right off the top of my head. Oh, it's called necromancy, as in bringing people back from the dead. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. All right. Well, I think that's all the questions we have. Um, so we'll go ahead and move into our closing part. Um, I'm going to first announce our winners for this session. Um, Misty Proctor, Mandy Lassiter, and Jane Hawthorne. You guys will all be winning fabrics from some of our um, designers that were featured here today. So thank you so much. Oh, wait, there's more. Jane Hawthorne and Gloria Schmunk. The five of you will all be winning fabrics from the designers that were featured here today in this session. So thank you so much for being here and we can't wait to see what you create with your prizes. Um, a few other things. Um, if you visit our website, which is bennertex.com, you can find a lot of fun things. Um, first and foremost, you can find the fabrics and the patterns that you saw images for here today. You can see those. You can also um, find more patterns than you even saw today. I know, Marin, there's several patterns available for your collection that we didn't see. Those are all on our website. Um, you'll also be able to find information about how to apply to become a 2025 Benertex ambassador. Our applications are open until the end of this month. And if you are interested in being an ambassador, you can find that information on our website. Another thing you can find is information about our FAT quarterly publication. In the last session, I did let a, a little sneak peek snippet of information out. Um, our next Fat Quarterly issue is going to feature the Upwards collection by Kimberly Einmo. And if you get the Fat Quarterly, you know that it comes with a publication with two different projects in it, as well as a swatch pack of fabrics that are included to get you started on those projects. On top of that, in January, we are going to do another live event just for our Fat Quarterly subscribers. 
and Kimberly Imo is going to be a guest in that um, webinar. Um, more details will be coming on that as we firm up dates and details, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you are interested in subscribing to our FAT quarterly publication, you can find all of that information on our website. Um, I know I, there were a few questions about um, the publication. Yes, it is available overseas. Um, so yes, in the UK, you can absolutely get that. Um, and lastly, I'd like to just thank everyone for coming to our virtual fabric show. I hope that everyone enjoyed seeing all the fabrics and the projects and hearing from our amazingly talented designers. Um, be sure to ask your local quilt shop about the collections that you fell in love with today. And we cannot wait to see what you create. Um, and one last thank you to all of my designers that came today and talked about your fabrics. We really appreciate your time and your enthusiasm. And we cannot wait for everyone to get their hands on the upcoming fabrics and also see what they're making with your current fabrics. So if you have a project that you've made with Venertex Fabrics, please post it on social media, tag it with the hashtag I am Benertexian. And um, that way we can see what you're creating and be sure to tag the designers that created the fabric as well. I know they all love to see what you make. So once again, thank you everyone for coming. Designers, thank you. I'll give you all a chance to, uh, to give your last goodbyes to everyone. So if you, um, along with uh, what Stephanie said, some of our quilt alongs, um, most of our quilt alongs have virtual um, galleries uh, along with it. So you can see all the different things that people have made with um, our patterns and our projects. So yeah. go on to our website and you'll be able to see all the virtual yeah. uh, galleries. But thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hosting us, Stephanie. Thank you everybody for being here. I hope to see you online. Thank you guys.